Lopez is our custodian here and we love Mr. Lopez. He's going through the halls and he's sweeping up any trash that's there. He's not a let me wait until the end of the day type of guy. Mr. Lopez, hard worker, never stops, and very, very reliable. He's counseled kids, he'll help them get to class on time. He makes himself available. Felix, that's an awesome dude. I come here every morning. I took Spanish. He helps me a little bit on it. Yeah, he's really nice. Every single day when I come here, he's always working. Why not say when he's helping, by the He's the hardest working guy on the campus. I don't think I've ever seen him not smile. <laughs> yeah. He's always present, you know, somewhere. You don't you don't have to ask him. He's there to offer. I'm gonna give him that. You know what? Every time I see Mr. Lopez talking to the kids, he talks in a positive way. He represents what I think Washington really is, a core group of people who all have the kids' best interests at heart. Now we're going to take care of the school and cleaning all around, check restrooms and everything what the school needs. Thank you, Felix. He's fresh. He's with the breakfast, because now they're going to start this. Thank you. Today, I'm the only one because uh, the other custodian is taking vacation. We've been reduced in staff and teachers and custodial. I mean, we, it just keeps happening. For the cuts, the budget is pretty bad. Well, I, I understand. And that's why we maintain the first floor with our custodian. We keep it the school right. That's what we do. He, you know, he takes on twice as much and doesn't bat an eye. I couldn't see anyone matching um, Mr. Lopez's work ethic right now. A student, 12, 11 years old, really caring about how immaculate a floor is looking right now. Somehow I think a student's focus would be on something else. Other kids are disrespectful to other teachers, but they're never disrespectful to Felix. I respect the kids, I love the kids, and I treat them good. In my country, I attend school only to fourth grade because honestly, we were living in poverty. I didn't know nothing about the English language. It was so difficult for me. I didn't attend high school because if I work or I study. But I'm learning by listening and especially TV station, PBS. If I have no education, I want somebody else to be better than me. No matter if you come from richest people, richest fathers, or for from poor fathers. If one, pe one person comes and do the right thing on the schools, this person gonna go all the way to the top. My first choice is UC Berkeley and my second is Cal Poly. To have a good grace for later on, for uh, going to the university, that's what I'm, I want something good for my daughter. Mr. Lopez takes it to another level with making sure that our facilities sets the tone for this being a great place to learn and work. I know he always says he's proud of me, but I'm just proud of my dad too. Therefore today, I love to see that place. 